Well, welcome to another episode episode of um, Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. Brought to you by Sanford Arts. What I'm doing is evening out a thin, thin layer of ink on a sheet of plexiglass. And then I'm going to drop a sheet of paper over that plexiglass. tape it down so it doesn't move while I draw on it. And when I draw and rub with my fingers on the back of this, I'm going to transfer ink to the front in kind of unpredictable ways. Actually fairly predictable, but there's some random elements to it. So that ink is inside a rectangle of tape, and I can feel that tape with my pen. And I'm just dragging this pen along the edge of that tape. And so I know I need to draw inside that rectangle. And uh, Draw a little, little, uh, little donkey here, because <laughs> he's awfully darn cute. Um, he's got great big eyes. And I'm actually going to set a bridge in here that lets me kind of, I can't, anything that touches the back of the paper transfers ink to the front. And so I can't rest my hand. And I want to do some pretty intense, high density scribble, which is kind of hard to do without uh, touching the paper a little bit. On this side, it might be close enough to the edge, it is, close enough to the edge that I can rest my hand outside the ink area, and so I can transfer ink this way. We're just putting in a, scribbling in an eyeball on a donkey. And we come right down his nose here a little ways. Partly this is an excuse to scribble. So 
So. Some little. I'm just looking at a photograph here. I don't actually know donkeys well enough from memory to draw them. But I can I can draw what I can see and I can see this photograph. I'll show you the photograph in a bit. I'm just putting darks where I see darks and keeping it light where I see it as light and Even varying the pressure of the pen on the back changes to some degree how much ink transfers to the front. And I think in the last four or five years I've done a, oh, I don't know, a couple thousand of these ink transfer drawings. So I'm getting a feel for, for where, there's his bottom lip. And he's got some pretty good, pretty extensive ears here that we don't see all of, actually. So I'm going to leave out what I can't see. These drawings, by the way, I'm probably sitting in a stack near where you're watching a video or where you could watch a video and I think those that stack of drawings those are all free for the taking if you like one you pick one out find the corresponding video you can watch the creation of the of the one you liked See, it's just an excuse to scribble. I'm mostly just concerned with kind of getting the scribble dark where it's dark and leaving it light where it's light. One of the really freeing things about this ink transfer process is that there is no erasing. And once you realize there's no erasing, you just kind of end up giving up and going for it. Hmm. I see a bit of the body, but it's in the photograph entirely out of focus. 
So, just going to draw it out of focus. My pen's not working. It still transfers ink when it doesn't work, but I can't see where I where I'm at. So got a little piece of scratch paper. I can get it back to working. And I've got a puppy with me in the studio and I'm wondering what she's chewing on in the other part of the building. So I'm going to call her, so... Cleo, come! Her name is Cleo. She's a little German Shepherd pup, and she's mostly pretty darn sweet. Uh, I think I'm just going to put a... one little bit of background in here. Um, I'm just going to do it. There's some magic numbers in art. And the proportion of six and three quarters up and four and a quarter at the top is sort of semi magical. Good girl, Cleo. She came and laid down on her bed. Now I don't have to wonder what it is she's doing. that line a little doubled up, maybe tripled up, there we go, maybe I want one more line. <laughs> Then I think I'm going to just touch this with my finger, actually my thumb. Maybe I don't want this eyeball hanging out here in space. This darkness comes down a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to add value, a tone, darkness, by just touching this with my finger. And that's transferring ink. The pressure of my finger on the back of the paper transfers ink to the front. And I think I'm going to
transfer a little there. Now I can peek, which is probably a good idea since I don't really know what happened underneath there. Let's take a peek. Transfer a little more with just the heel of my hand. The heel of my hand it gives me a real soft gradation. from dark to light, and I think I like what I see. So I'm going to get the ink out of here now. <laughs> There's an up close and personal look at a donkey. Here's the photo I was looking at. You can see that the everything I drew comes out backwards, so I'm working backwards. I have some watercolor paint, and I'm going to um, I'm going to paint um, just a little bit of the donkey. I might not do much to the background on this one. I kind of like it stark. Good donkey color. It's just pretty much straight burnt sienna. Sienna is just dirt from the Siena, Siena region in Italy. It's actually toasted dirt from Italy. They they burn it quite literally as burnt dirt from Italy. Oh, and I missed, painted something I really didn't mean to paint. So I'm going to come back and, before it dries, see if I can pick some of that up. There we go. And he's got a little bit of a white, whitish muzzle, but a bit of gray. See how gray that gray is? Oh, that gray's about right. A bit of gray down in here. So I'm going to just darken this just a touch with some gray. Rinse my brush, get almost all the gray out, and come back and with just a hint of gray coming up his muzzle. Ooh, and the burnt sienna is bleeding down into the gray, so I'm going to pick that up too. There we go. I think. Think, 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 think. I come down in here with just a touch of blue, kind of a turquoise. And get that turquoise out.
Hmm. Kind of want to do just a tiny bit more, but I'm going to switch to a bigger brush. So a super light turquoise now. So that just means lots of water. I don't actually have white in my watercolor palette. I just have water, which makes it more transparent, which just lets more of the paper show. So, so it looks lighter. It's the same pigment. Again, more water makes it really light in this case. I sign them in pencil. So, got a little mechanical pencil here. I'll call him Call him Jack the Donkey. Sign it. and date it 2020 and like I said if it's Jack the donkey you like you can pick him up and take him home with you and I hope you enjoy watching the video of his creation too thanks for tuning in